Okay, guys, this is Big Boy 122790. My real name is Glenn, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock. Well, I will show you how to jailbreak, but jailbreaking is easy, easy if you have black rain. But, anyways, I'm going to show you how to j uh, unlock your Apple iPhone. 2G 3.1.2 software version. It's only for the 2G, I think. I do not know because I don't have any other I devices or anything like that. All I have is that iPhone. Um. Anyways, let's bring this up. Okay. Um. First, y'all need to go to Cydia. I need to download two things from Cydia. And I'm not going to let it load up, but I'll tell y'all in the description what to download. I'll tell you right here. You will need boot neuter, which all you'll need to do is put in boot, B O O T, and it will be the first one called boot neuter. Y'all need to download that. Cancel that. I'll show y'all right quick. Let's see. Okay, whatever. Hurry the fuck up. Um. Damn it. There we go. Now it's gonna be faster. Um, let it load up right quick. And as you can see, I've already got it unlocked. Because I made a video just a few minutes ago, and the stupid site delete, I mean the stupid cam video thing did something to it. It deleted or something. So go to search. Search packages. Put in boot. that one right there you'll need to download boot neuter to unlock it and then AFC 2 ADD add like this you'll need to download that so there's two things right there because you'll need AFC2 add to SSH into your iPhone using iFunbox, which will be in the description to the right, along with everything else you'll need to download and or whatever you else you need to download. So, so let's go back. Once boot neuter comes up, click on boot neuter and Let's see and then bring it up um hold on y'all fresh screen okay it's not working right so y'all need 4.6 highlight it I click on 4.6 right there damn it did it again Um, click on 4.6 then click on neuter then click on the other one which should be um, let's see what should the other one be let's go back to it I don't care if it kicks me off again except okay let's go to boot neuter you'll have to click on 4.6 neuter own and unlock on if it keeps on telling you to uh, reboot it just reboot it keep on doing that 
keep on click on neuter and unlock and it should say um should say something like flashing or something like that just did it again um just forget about that i'm gonna let this thing get done but um when it does that when you get boot neuter on there and don't insert your T-Mobile SIM card or whatever SIM card you're using just yet. This is where the AFC2 ad thing, AFC2 ad thing comes in. Download iPhone Box. The link and the stuff will be in the description. I might put in annotations up. I don't know though. Don't know if I want to or not. But anyways, go to iPhone Box. And if you didn't download AFC2 ad, it will still be saying jail, that it's still jailed. That means you didn't, that means they uh, had the error in or something. So you'll need to download AFC2 ad to get this thing done. So click on that, click on the iPhone, and yes, my name is Glenn again. Um, click on raw file system click on private then go to var then you'll need to go to root then library make a copy of this lockdown folder because if you delete it and you don't want to delete it or you want to or you just mistake and delete the wrong thing make a copy of this whole folder if you want to and um like the address cookies keyboard lockdown preferences but when you do that you when you make copies and stuff delete this lockdown folder just completely delete it then you'll need to click on device safe removal and rem it'll remove your device remove it will remove your device safely which is your iPhone click exit then let's go to VNC ad I mean VNC viewer what the fuck am I saying um accept it okay you'll need to reboot after that after you get done with the SSH reboot then when you when you cut off cut it off put your T-Mobile SIM card in your iPhone 2G. Put it in there, or whatever SIM card you want to use, put it in there and it will work. It won't be saying that searching thing like it says when some people do it. It says searching right there. It won't say that and if your um, if your Wi-Fi messes up like mine did just ignore it, it'll fix it once the T-Mobile, I mean once your carrier gets on there, it'll fix it completely. So if you're having trouble with the Wi-Fi or anything else, it should work when you get done with this. So just don't use it until then. That's why I require you to download all the files before you uh, SSH or any kind of editing to your iPhone. And that is about it. Subscribe or don't subscribe. It really doesn't matter to me as long as it's helped some people out because people's been having trouble with it. Well, anyways, um, I'll see y'all later. I right, bye.